Group here, Potterhead, and welcome back to Mangy's Collection Emporium for another Harry Potter video. I'm Tabby, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my many, many, many Harry Potter bags that I have. See, I love Harry Potter products, and I especially love Harry Potter bags, so I kind of see a Harry Potter bag or lunchbox, anything like that, and I just have to buy it. So I've kind of got quite a collection now and today is going to be a video of me sharing that collection with you and showing you the many 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 Harry Potter bags which I have got over the last couple of years. So let's roll the intro. This is the first bag that I wanted to show you. It is a lunchbox tin. This one's quite interesting because it's a funny shape. You can see it's actually curved and it's got a clasp on the front. So you've kind of got a squarish set there, a squarish section. My words running away with me then. And then a sort of more rounded area in the top. So that's quite interesting for a shape. And it's of course got the Hogwarts crest on the front and then a smaller version of it on the back and a very comfortable carry handle. That's quite a good size. Uh, I got this one quite recently, I'm not sure exactly where, but one of the things which I like most about this is that it is brown but it's actually made to look like leather because it's got these little stitching details on the sides and you can see a slight pattern on the actual printing of the brown on there. So that's quite a nice feature. I think I've only got I've only got two lunch boxes, so I'll go to the next one. Okay, this is the other lunch box that I have. It's a Gryffindor one and you might might notice that it has top trumps at the bottom there. Because I got this one fairly recently, a couple of months ago I think, and I think that I got this one from Waterstones, or it might have been Game, but I got this with some Top Trumps sets, which are still inside here, so it actually comes with two sets of Top Trumps, which is very nice. We've got the Goblet of Fire ones, there, and it's also got the Prisoner of Azkaban set. So not only did I get a lunchbox, but I also got top trumps, which is just fantastic, that's a bonus. So this has been made to look like a trunk. You've got this uh, beam down the middle. It's got a handle, little clasp, and it's the same on each side. This is more of a traditional kind of lunchbox than this one because of its shape and size. And that is my two Harry Potter lunchboxes. So the rest of these are all different bags. I got this one from Primark. I absolutely love it. The side bag and this buckle is uh, not how you do it up, it's actually got a magnetic little uh, popper right there, so that clips in. We've got these badges which uh, are all actually fabric, so it's a uh, leather-esque, fake leather, and then some actual fabric badges sort of stuck on, gives it a little bit, I don't know, a little bit of a rock and roll feel I think. There we go, open that up got a small area here, small compartment pocket, and then a bigger pocket on the inside, and also a little zip pocket there as well, for if you've got, I don't know, your phone, your keys, something that you'll want to get to hand very easily. Now, I actually liked this bag so much that I got a second one just so that I can put it on display in my Harry Potter living room. Um, 
So you'll see this one is definitely in better condition. You can pair them side by side. They are a little bit dusty, and that's because I moved house a couple of months ago and still haven't managed to fully get everything sorted. So they've kind of just been packed away for the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, I've, I haven't used this one at all. It literally just goes on display. So I keep it, I keep it side bag handle, all wrapped up. See, still on the inside. There's the inside there because you didn't get to see it on the other one. So I'm a big fan of this particular bag, and that's why I got two because I knew that Primark would have sold out of it, and then I wouldn't get it again. So I bought two. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got a problem. I have, I know. <laughs> My name is Tabby. I have a bit of a Harry Potter bag problem. I kind of collect a lot of Harry Potter bags. <laughs> um, this one is possibly my most recent Harry Potter bag. I got this rucksack from, uh, I think it was from Deutschmann, I don't know how to say it, but a shoe shop um, when I was getting some shoes, or I was looking for some shoes. I think I was looking for some shoes for my mother-in-law. And I saw this bag, and this one is 50% off, £6.50. I was like, bargain, I'm getting that bag. I mean, I was going to want to have it anyway, but then it was £6.50, so how could I refuse? It's uh, Gryffindor colours. We've got the H, so a sort of abbreviated version of the crest almost, just the middle bit. I really love this Harry Potter label tag for the front pocket there. We've got the main crest here in glorious Technicolor. The Harry Potter label. And you can see that there's detailing for Gryffindor colours of red and gold on the handles as well. And this one should have been £13. There we go. There's nothing special about the inside. There's no other pockets. But it's a good size rucksack. And part of the reason why I wanted to do this video was because Aaron said to me, that's my husband, he said, you're not allowed, your Harry Potter bags, you're not allowed to use them until you actually do a video where you're sharing everyone what your bags are, all of your bags. <laughs> so, but I mean, I wanted to share them with you anyway, because it's just nice to, nice to get a bit of community and show you guys some of the Harry Potter products which are out there. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you have any favourite products of your own because I, I love hearing about you guys and what things you have because that's what the Harry Potter community is all about that's what being a Potterhead is about it's it's not about all this media drama I don't want to get into that but it's just what things do you love let's bring back the love what things do you love that's what I want to know about um, this is a another Harry Potter rucksack again this one's a leather-esque kind of one these are all metal stud badges and this one actually has Hogwarts itself in gold on it there. This is a real zip, there's a compartment in the bottom. Look at that H, look at that metal Hag Hogwarts H, that's great, I love that. So there's a section at the bottom there you can use for quick access items. And then you've got the main section there which also has a zip pocket on the inside there. Uh, I think I prefer this one from the red rucksack. Uh, it is a bit smaller but I like its style more. Just um, I just prefer the leather kind of design and the metal stud um, things rather than rather than the printing. I just think that this one looks better quality generally in its design. Uh, right, uh, okay. And I've got this one, red and gold again. Are you guys able to guess which house I'm in? We've got the Hogwarts crest in gold 
well, it's a, it's bright yellow, it's not really gold. It'd be really cool if it was gold and metallic, but it's not quite. Uh, but the yellow stands out really nicely with the red. I like um, how the animals are done in the red and gold. I think that that works very, very nicely. And we've, of course, got the motto, Joko Dormian's Numquam Titalandus at the bottom. That's a, a good size, quite strong shopping bag. Um, oh, I'm especially a fan of this one. I really like this one. So this is a canvas bag. I'm not always a fan of canvas bags because sometimes there's just not enough design to them. Sometimes they can look a bit plain. But I love this one because it's Hogwarts, but it's gold on the black with a gold moon. I just think it's so atmospheric. I really, really like this one. And of course, because it's canvas, it's very light. It rolls up very small. If you want to have a, a bag to, to take with you, you're not going to be sort of having a bag full of bags, which is like this big when you're going shopping. It just folds up really tiny. And the black handles give it a nice accent. And then down in the bottom corner, you've got property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And that's all glittery. All of the gold is glittery and shiny on that, which is a really nice touch. So this is probably my favorite canvas bag. This is another canvas bag. And I can go ahead and say that this is most likely from Primark because Primark does these sort of chibi characters, these very simplified Harry Potter characters. Um, I'm not as much a fan of this one because of the repeated pattern and it just doesn't have the same style of class as that one. I'm also more a fan of the the world and Hogwarts building and stuff rather than all of the specific characters sometimes. Um, but Hedwig is super cute. Look at Hedwig. He's adorable. Look at that. Um, yeah, I don't think that these characters look very much really like the characters either in the book versions or the as in you know when the when the first products came out before the films or the film versions um but then they're, they're more like caricatures they're more like um impressions of the characters which is quite cute so if you're into that if you're into this kind of style then primark is definitely the place to go for harry potter products of that nature um, right. <laughs> I've actually got so many, I forget how many bags I have to be honest. This is another Primark bag, I'm guessing. We've got Harry on one side. We've got lots of characters squashed together along the shorter, or thinner sides. And then on the other side, we've got Harry, McGonagall, Hagrid, Hermione, Ron, Dumbledore, Hedwig, and Hogwarts in the background. So lots going on there. And these bright yellow handles to hold that one. Which is really strong. Another strong bag for going shopping with. Again, I'm not really a fan of these characters. Um, well, this character design, I mean. Um, but the Sirius is looking pretty good. I don't know whether you can see him just there, but that Sirius is very cool. I like him. And I think I saw a Snape looking really good on here somewhere. I don't know. You could play Where's Wally or Where's Waldo if you're American. You could play Where's Wally, Where's Waldo on this. You could say, oh, I want to look for this character, and then you could try and find him. You know, if you didn't have very much, if you had too much time to spare and you were like me. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, Bob. Okay. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So this is a, another canvas bag which I really like. The blue. And the silver makes it look very Ravenclaw. And it's obviously got the motto from the Marauders map, which Fred and George gave to Harry. 
and again it's got property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry down at the bottom there. The silver is all sparkly, it's really nice, got little stars all over it, it's the same on both sides. I still don't like it quite as much as the black one, but it is probably my second favourite canvas bag. I do really like these ones. Silver just makes it so magical and sparkly. I got this canvas bag from Geek Gear, I think. It's Hogwarts colours, um, Gryffindor colours, red and yellow. And it's got this sort of new logo that I haven't seen anywhere else because it's just got the initials for each of the houses. So Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. I do like the wand crossed with the broomstick though. I think that that's a very nice touch. But overall, I don't really like this bag very much. But I definitely like that particular logo. I'd like to see more of that. Okay, we're down to our last two bags. These are my biggest bags. This is a great big blue and white bag. And I would say that it's based on the Marauders map, very much. And I've used this one when I'm going to the beach or going swimming, where you know, you've got a towel, you've got your swimming costume, you've got sun cream, you've got all your bits and bobs, lots of stuff. So this is a good bag for that, and because it's um, plasticky, it, um, it doesn't hold on to water too much, dries out nice and quick. So this is a good beach bag, I tend to find, and it's nice and strong again because of how it's been sewn, that's quite tough. And I love the design of this. I love the Marauders map design with the castle around the edges. It's got Mercer's Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs all on here. Um, like the little banners of Hogwarts and everything and even the sort of impression of writing in places. Just makes this bag really interesting to look at. I could quite happily just sit and admire this one for quite a long time. I love this bag a lot. And the last bag is similar to that one. You've seen it earlier in the video, just holding all the bags. It's about the same size, maybe slightly bigger than the blue one. It's black. The gold H symbols on it, Harry Potter symbols, are all shiny. Not glittery, but they are a little bit metallic. So you've got the classic HP with the snitch, you've got the glasses, and you've got the lightning bolts everywhere. So it's a bit more simple than the Marauders map design bag. I still like it, but I don't like it as much. And again, it's strong and it's the right kind of materials for taking beach stuff with you. And if you get any sand in it, it's light enough that you can just wave it around and all the sand comes out. And that is... Finally, all of my many, many, many Harry Potter bags. I don't actually know how many I have there, um, but feel free to count them throughout the video and then let me know in the comment section below. It'll be interesting to see just how many I have. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure to go through all of them and to admire them again because they have been in storage for a few months, so I forgot about most of those. Um, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel. Please let me know any ideas for things that you want to see in the future. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because it really helps to support me. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying things. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, press the bell button because that's how you get notifications when I next get a video out. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Take care, thank you.